baby sperm whale XCX back. Uh, I just want to make a quick video about why I do not like comic books anymore. Uh, you know, back in elementary school, I really grew up uh, reading lots of comic books. You know, X-Men, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, Superman, uh, all those great comics. Um, I did prefer DC comic books mostly. Uh, I still do because I like their characters more. I feel like the stories are more intriguing. But um, recently I've just been noticing that comic books have just been on a horrible decline. Like, um, I'll give my reasons why. Um, but overall, I just want to say, um, yeah, I don't know what's happened to comic books. Uh, I, I don't really read comic books anymore, uh, especially not like the uh, mainstream Marvel or DC comics. I still do read a couple independent comic books like Savage Dragon, Spawn, uh, Invincible. Those are my favorites right now. I still keep in check of those. But um, mostly when I say comic books, I'm talking about Marvel and DC comics. Now, the first reason why I'm saying this is because, well, the obvious one um, I want to get out the way is that they kill off superheroes way too much now. Like, just this past decade, I'm talking about like 20... 2010 to 2020, they've killed off Wolverine, they killed off, I think they killed off Superman again, they killed off um, uh, Flash, they killed off um, Spider-Man, like, they just keep killing off different characters, and it's just hard to get um, invested in the story when you just kill off so many characters, like, instantly, like, okay, it was cool at first when they killed off Superman in the 90s, I'll admit that, but when he came back to life, um, just like, what's, what now? Like, there's no threat. Superman already died, so if you kill off Superman again, I'm not gonna care. Like, uh, Dr. Octopus killed off Spider-Man in 2016, I think? So, when Peter Parker came back, it's just like, well, there's no threat now. I mean, Spider-Man already died once. Who's gonna kill him now? If the Green Goblin kills him, Spider-Man will come back. If, you know, if the Rhino kills him, Spider-Man will come back. Sandman kills him, Venom kills him, Spider-Man's already died, he found a way back once, he'll find a, he'll find another way to come back, right? And, um, so that really just kills the, um, suspense and the action for me, where they're, where the guys are fighting and whatever, and, um, you know, one, one of them's already died, so, I mean, what's the point? What's the point? Uh, they also killed off Bane recently. Uh, Batman Bane in the City of Bane story arc. Uh, I think he was killed by Flashpoint Batman, if I'm not mistaken, and Alfred also died. So, um, yeah, Bane's dead. They're never going to bring him back, right? Bane's not a popular Batman character. They're never going to bring back Bane. Why would they? He's dead. He's not coming back, right? <laughs> um, second reason why I've just kind of lost interest in comic books um, they have too many crossover events. It's just hard to keep track of. You have, like, uh, Marvel has done so many crossovers. House of M, Secret Wars. They did Civil Wars 2, um, Original Sin. Just, like, uh, I think they did, like, another Infinity War crossover, too, in the comics. Or Infinity Gauntlet, some kind of crossover. They've just done so many crossovers. And it's just expensive and time consuming just to like find all these comics. You have to buy all the comics. You have to get up to date with all the characters. What's happening? What's Rocket Raccoon doing? What's Captain America doing? You just have to get invested in like a dozen different comic books just to understand the storyline. It's just, it's just too time consuming. It's money consuming. It's just, it's kind of hard to enjoy like a single series because like say you're just reading Daredevil. You're reading Daredevil. Boom! He gets thrown into a uh, a crossover event. He has he's he's off on Mars with the Avengers fighting Thanos or Krang or something, and so you're just like, what's happening here? So you have to go, you have to do research, you have to go buy all these different other comic books just to find out what's happening, and, and then half the time they're not even worth it. They're just crossover. They fight the bad guy, whatever, like. Pretty much all crossover events are the same. One big bad guy comes around and he's just threatening the reality and all the different universes and the Avengers or Justice League has to stop them. And it's just, 
it's just kind of tiring, just boring at this point. Why does everything have to be a crossover? Especially Marvel, they have like six, they have like six different crossovers a year. It's it's exhausting to keep up with them. And the last reason um, why I just don't like American comic books anymore, uh, corporation like DC, uh, Marvel mostly, is because um, they're just really expensive now. Like one issue is like six or seven dollars. And that might not seem like a lot, but you're only getting like 20 pages. I mean, and after 10 minutes, you're already done with the thing. You don't want to read it again. You just read it. Uh, you might read it once or twice, and you just throw it away. It's just like, man, six or seven dollars for this? That's just for one issue. Um, and that, it might, it might not seem like that much, but you know, it'll add up. And if you read multiple different titles, that's going to just keep adding up. And yeah, <laughs> comic books is a rich man's hobby. <laughs> so yeah, that's my reasons why I think um, Marvel and DC both kind of suck right now um there are still good comic books like i like um i like savage dragon spawn they're still going strong um those are the two i'm i'm really reading right now um they're image comics so they're not marvel or dc they're owned by um the image authors so um yeah peace